It's time for draft seven from heaven. Let's see. Um, we've basically had, at worst, two or three wins, and we've had a, a, few, a handful of sevens. So we're on the up and up, and we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Um, tomorrow we're doing Dome Keeper. Friday, I'm gone because I'm at TwitchCon that I'm doing Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And next week is a normal week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We've got mostly walking drafts on Tuesday. And I might do drafts on Thursday. Do like Tuesday, Thursday magic and then a Wednesday, Friday, some other stuff. I might even commit the entire week to doing drafts because frankly, a lot of you have messaged me since I said, I'm going to march to Mythic and draft. And you're just like, oh my God, Sean, please. All I ever want you to do is draft. Very well, I will choose Defiler of Vigor. You don't have to strong arm me. There is one thing that's marginally painful here, which is that I want this and this and this. <laughs> I want everything. Yeah, when I look at this, Defiler of Vigor is a 6-6 six, six for 5. That feels very good. It's an incredible wall that once it is has been slammed down, it can build up value on the outside. But I think that I, I want to be a little more cautious about getting good defense and good stabilization in the early game, which might mean in some ways two drop creatures. But it might also mean taking an approach to building the deck that is a little bit more skewed towards aggression at the start. Now, right away, Silver Scrutiny is ridiculously good value. I mean, holy crap. X equals three. Looks good for me. There's also Strength of the Coalition that I've had a lot of success with. I don't like combat research in this format. Um, and I think that these are the choices. I think, I think I will want Silver Scrutiny. I really need to make sure that I have good enough defense. Good enough defense. Or that I can get so much land out so quickly that I can start doing multiple pricey things at once. But I'm going to go ahead and just pick the best card here. Because, hey, maybe we're not even green. And I think Silver Scrutiny is excellent. I think that the best card here is Resolute Reinforcements, honestly. Because here's the thing. If I am blue-white, blue-green, both of those are fine with Resolute Reinforcements. Legomos is a little bit just like... Ah, and just <laughs> spazzing out and doing something utterly. <laughs> oh, wait, there's an Urborg repossession. Ooh. Yep, I missed that. And this is more consistent with our just pick the highest value cards. Yeah, I think this is the best card here, period. I think this is the best card here, period. Let's go ahead and tuck that one in. Uh, we have Czar. There's been a lot of things that have been trying to grab me and shake me vigorously and say, go Selesnya. So I'm not going to resist anymore. Nothing else here is actually good. I mean, I guess a Magna Goth Sentry. But I mean, I, I'm just going to grab what I perceive to be good cards. And we're going to go from there. Okay, so I think that the choice is between Tangled Islet and Citizen's Arrest. I think that no matter what, this... And this and this suggest to me that I am going to be doing some slower, grindier stuff. So I want to get these when I can. I just don't think I want to just abruptly go red. I don't think I want to do that. Citizen's Rest is is, is nice. I think Tangled Islet is, is what we're looking at. Sunbathing Root Walla is disproportionately high value if I'm going for five... Domainers, Domainers and Spainers. And I think it's precisely what I'm hopeful to get. These kinds of cards, like Colossal Growth, is not what I'm hopeful to get. Caves looks great. Caves looks great. I'm barely getting anything else relevant. Eerie Soul Tenders, I think, can be okay. Same logic as before. I want to try to get duels when I can. Eerie Soul Tenders are not incredibly hard to pick up because they're very fringe type ones, fringe type cards. 
Although flowstone infusion might be relevant for us. I think I'd rather get the wool. I think blue and green as a base seems fine. Flowstone infusions are flowing. I believe the sea scavenger is in our alleged colors <laughs> and is good for setting us up for success. Uh, automatic librarian, I, I, I again have fallen quite, quite deeply and madly in love with. I guess I'll just place this in the list. It, it might be a relevant card. I might run you, you know? Fucking, you never know. Oh, Sten is just a turd. This is this is great. We want we want Moss Beard Ancients. This is just the perfect card. Oh my oh my god, I can't even believe it. Oh my god. <laughs> Get out of here, you turd. You Moss Beard Ancient, a big guy, it gains life, and it tramples. Oh my god. Urborg repossession is so clutch with it. Sten Paranoid Partisan. This looks like someone who's adjusting their deck brew before submitting it to their Pro Tour qualifier. This guy's a complete degenerate. I'm just going to get the Moss Beard Ancient. It's large. It's thick. It's totally sick. Um, I believe the best one here is Prayer of Binding. I don't think I'm even running this nerd. I believe that this decision is between a lightning strike or a prayer of binding. Just gonna get the prayer. All right. Good to have you. I'd like some of these. That'd be great. Ivy Gleeful Thief, or a player cast spell, target. Oh, yeah, I just do mass copying. But I mean, Moss Beard Ancient is just stupidly good. I'm probably going to just dunk the Gibbering Barricade for now. Probably dunk Czar. Moss Beard Ancient is great. Okay, so what then would be good to get here? I think that probably some mana type cards. We might even be. I don't know if blue is our base color. Could be. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to grab this, but... Nah, I don't, I, I don't need this. I need the Urborg. Urborg, I mean, Urborg and Moss Beard Ancients, these two will win us the game. The gods want me to play Selesnia? Yeah, fuck the gods. I'm the captain now. Yeah, if I can get a couple more of these things, get one of the ramp cards. Urborgs and Moss Beards. That's how we're going to get there. Sunbathing Root Wallace. Card I'm very keen on picking up more of. Okay, there's a Territorial Morrow. Go ahead and pick up this. Still think this is good to be picking up these kinds of things. Um... Artillery blasts are actually not terribly bad in the in the nonsense that we're building. I might. Mm. That's great news. There's also Fleurforest Vine Wall. 
yeah, I think this is great. I think that these artillery blasts I can actually begin to consider running. What the fuck? I mean, I'm not going to get it, but like, whoa. Oh my god, we have another pack. Oh my god. That's not really helping us. I think it might be just an extinguish the light. So we, we have three red duels. I think it's maybe non-red duels. Gonna get the choking miasma. So I think that we basically have what we need. Let me go ahead and just tuck these. Do 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 do. Hydromancers, fantastic. Okay, so this is our. We want this one for sure. This fucking interface. I don't know if I'm going to run these two other ones. I might run this. But I think the Elvish Hydromancer can get kicked to make a, a copy. A lot of good targets to copy. A creature, it's in my colors. There's a line breaker Bayloth. Do we need a line breaker Bayloth? I think I think the answer is no. I think that this is all we want at our high end. I think that we want this. I think this is actually correct. Is it just me? Or is the stream really quiet today? I mean, maybe. Let me let me see a setting. Test, test. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna get the haunted mire. So if I have four different land types, seven minus four, this is a four six. Well, I'm gonna consider this. Yeah. Okay. So let me let me double check. Check, check. All right. Sorry. Uh. Yeah. Something something is changing my sound settings. Yeah, I, I'm having an issue. I think that this, I think that these are blue black is really good. Let's go ahead and get more blue blacks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 20 cards. You know, I'm actually going to get the Blight Pile, and I'm going to run it, and it's just going to be a 3-3 Defender. It's 
Some great final pickups. Great final pickups, man. All right, so let me go to this. What are the settings like here? Okay, this looks fine. Go to sound settings. Go to um, device properties. Okay, that's fine. Vanquisher's Axe. Okay, let me go to this. Manage sound properties. Go back. Devices. Oops. Okay, that should be fine. All right, I'm, I'm fiddling with some knobs, so, so maybe maybe you can hear me a little bit better. And I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm like just so freaking sorry. White and red. Helped a little, yeah. That's good. And there's this other thing that I wanted to check. Line device properties. So if I pull this down really hard, that's really quiet, and then move this one back in, that's good. All right. Yeah, and, and also I just think I was sitting a little farther away from the mic. Yep, I, I, I've been having some, I'm having some weird stuff with my microphones. So in terms of this list, let's go ahead and remove some things that we're not entirely sure about. Salvage Mana Worker. Maybe, actually. Maybe, actually, yeah, on the Salvage Mana Worker. So many creatures we have. 16. I think the Barclay Crusher is going to go ahead and pop out. I think the Yavamaya Sojourner is going to pop out, I think... I mean, if I get all five land types out, this is this is hard to cast. This will be one, two. I don't have anything red, so we can actually de-emphasize red manas. So let's let's actually just look here. Because right now we have we have 15 lands. So let's look at the number of green sources that we have. Number of green sources. Green is really valuable at the high end. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, point five. Black sources. Important for our removal spells, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually. I'm very pleased with that. Um, islands. How are we doing on islands? This is one, two, three, four, five. We don't have a lot of islands. I think that's okay. I think I might even cut a Volsh Tide Turner. Put in another low drop thing. I think the Gibbering Barricade is okay. A 2 4 is actually kind of, kind of annoying. Kind of annoying to deal with. So for white, we had one, two, three. So let's go and do. Why don't you run some more of these? Yeah, why not run more of those? Technically, we can run the Sacred Peaks. I think the Salvage Mana Worker is going to get run. Do we have a single red use at all in any of these things? Because here's the thing, we, we, we actually don't really need a ton of these different, like, crazy domain powers. Did I accidentally put in too much? 18 lands. I sure did. Because Phyrexian Espionage and Silver Scrutiny are way over here, huh? One, two, three, four, five. I think five is right with the Mana Worker. All right. All right, this is it. Land from this. One, two, three. 
one. One. So in terms of the white mana sources, we have one, two, we have three. We have four, we have five. But that's okay, because we also have uh, salvage mana work. Cool. So these are fine to cast later. Now for, we really need green and black early on. So green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Black, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nearly perfect. Island, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I go down to five islands? I just don't have another good two drop, and I think I just do need this Volsh Tide Turner. All right. Uh, Urborg or Death. So this deck's story is, can I stay alive to get a Moss Beard Ancient down? All right, it's time. Get your channel points ready. Th this deck is, is a little sloppy. Man says, can you expand on your choice of passage, Johnny? Seems like an easy include to me. Sure. So this format to me seems like you really need to answer the question, how do I not die, right? Like relatively early on. There's a lot of ways to die relatively early on, like a lot. And so um, once I took an investigation of, okay, well, another question is how do I win? Mossbeard Ancients. Even more so than Defiler of Vigor. It's Moss Beard Ancients recurring with Urborg Repossessions. I can win with these two and these two. So the rest of my questioning is, how do I stay alive to get there? A Johnny is this amazing value card. It doesn't help keep you alive early. It doesn't really help you win the game in a um, super compelling way. But it's great at drawing lots and lots of cards. And that's, that's where I'm just not the biggest... I'm not the most tickled. I'm also unsure about this Frexian espionage. Johnny could protect himself would be cooler. Yeah. Yeah. A Johnny doesn't do much on the board. My god, I'm like so popular today. Hell yeah. See, here's where I would quite like a Johnny. If I was the same Selesnia list in draft number six that we just completed, I have turn one and two and three plays, and I'm dumping my hand. Boom! Play a Johnny on turn four. Or hell, play it on turn three. And instantly, you're able to start doing things. This can generate neutral mana, which can turn this into colorful mana. All right, mono black from Soccer Dude. We're going to do like this, so that way we can cast Prayer Binding. This dumps into this to make white. All right. Gibbering Barricade, I think, was a very slick include.
working towards the Moss Spirit Ancient, baby. Big Kev says, did I hear correctly that today's the last day for vanilla DMU drafts and tomorrow the Alchemy version releases? What? Oh, I hate that. You're kidding me. Are you serious? That can be the case. I despise Alchemy. I despise Alchemy. There's no way they won't have both. There's no way. I actually, its it hurts me so much to imagine that. I no longer believe you. Don't speak to me. Phyrexian Rager and a Phyrexian Espionage is, is pretty sick. Sure. We might just win on Mill. I'm under no threats. Okay. Woo! Dude, this just locks stuff down. That's great. See, I, there's not really a threat right now. Man, Soccer Dude's deck goes low to the ground. I don't think I've seen a, th a single thing that costs more than three. I mean, Frexy and Espionages are great to kick, but... Good cheap stuff going on. All right, we'll accept the one. This guy loves raging. I'm not messing around. I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get a bunch of moss beards, dude. I genuinely think we're just gonna win with Moss Beard Ancients. This guy's have 14 cards left in his deck. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shit, we're getting fucking Polarian Geyser. Whoa, fucking whoa! Happy to do my part. God, Mossbeard Ancient. Mossbeard Ancient is like, it feels like a rare. It's so good. Yeah, I hate drawing cards. Well, see, like, the thing is, we're good on the board. <laughs> we're, we're horrible on the board. We're mostly good on the board. We're going to Artillery Blast this. We're going to pay two. It's going to die. It's fine. My opponent's kind of empty-handed. Twelve cards left. Who's coming back? Oh, this is fucking nerd? Sure. Actually, it's super relevant. Alright, 
Turn on the beat down. I mean, this is going to sack to, like, I don't know, get impede momentum back or something. All right. Rounding the third path. My god. Soccer dude's going to mill. So I need to use Gibbering Barricade to sack a Moss Beard Ancient. Heal, and then my opponent mills out. <laughs> okay. Nice, so let me heal. Let's me heal. Sorcery speed, though. We are legitimately kidding me right now. All right, I'll wait one more. cards left. So I really do have to sacrifice this guy. Urborg for one. Man, this, this one is low, low, low to the ground. Gain one life from this. First game, big grinder. Big grinder on the first game. Pow, 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 pow. Do, 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 do. Next snap, next snap. You can tell I don't do combat sports. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the next game. In which Starbreeze says, remember you have your own Blight Pit. In what regard? Because we, we never quite had the mana to be able to do stuff with it. It is right on the edge. But I think, I think due to the fact that we have a Crystal Grotto, I think we're in okay shape. Going first with a Crystal Grotto. So we, we get an extra opportunity to get a draw. And then virtually any mana lets us cast the Gibbering Barricade. This could be over very quickly. Hit me. <laughs> hey. See, with any mana, we can cast the Gibbering Barricade. Pandora Starbreeze, uh, so if there's a specific turn, I can point to a specific turn, but generally I was under the impression I didn't have the mana, and I could have missed a few. That's completely reasonable. Dude, we're doing this. This is great. There's no way we can lose. This is arguably uh, a mulligan here. Any creature here and we're super fucked. Yep. 
Hi, my name is Sean, and I am super fun. Be gone, mutant. Alright, so here's here's my build. I draw Choking Miasma. That's the play, right? Alright, that's all I got. And resummon the Gibbering Barricade and gain some life as well. One more land that's untapped means we can cast both the Artillery Blasts, which is quite good. I mean, Bone Splinters to kill Gearing Barricade just detonates us, like, immediately. Yeah. All right, so I took I took, I took, took what I think is, for this deck, a fair risk and got completely whomped. No fucking own. All right, one and one, having fun. Oh, we got it. Oh, dude, this is it. This is the it shit. Ooh, Zoologist Mulligan. Mulligan again, Zoologist. Didn't work. Oh, it did work, dude. I'm like sick. I'm like sick as fuck. I'm the best player that has ever been alive. Definitely gonna do this. I think working towards more mana is actually valuable here. My opponent is going to discover that they're going to have a lot of hope, and then Moss Beard Ancients are going to start coming down. Ah! Free and Beast Caller is one of the worst possible cards here. That's a really good card to have in a five five card hand. Magnagoth Sentry is a good card to have. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I should have kept that artillery blast. Holy shit, this is like fucking a horrifying run out. Pass once. Go ahead and flip on sideways here. What a killer draw, dude. Sunbathing Root Walla protects a lot. Shit. Shit. So now we are just literally untapped land or bust. Alright, well. So 
we're gonna do this. Man, I think I should have kept the artillery blast. I think I need to be a little bit more thoughtful about our removal. I think I've found who I'm chumping. Oh, shit. That is a good play. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I need to, I need to do some adjustments. I need to do them. I need to do them. Now we can block this, but we can't block everything. Ay, 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 ay. I think, I think that it, it was the artillery. That, that was the, the play mistake. Because if they're down, if they have five cards, all I need to do is kill the one scary creature. And I couldn't kill the one scary creature. We really need to get our shit together. This is a good hand. Confirmed. Confirmed good hand. Confirmed good hand. I think this is what makes this really tricky. You've heard me say multiple times, you need to figure out a way to stay alive. And obviously we have just like... We have an insane amount of power when the games go on slightly long. Like that that um, blue blacklist had a lot of stuff going on really early in terms of drawing, in terms of like getting more value, and we outvalued them. Where we'll always struggle is when we run up against big tempo plays. Choking the Ozma is good, but I think I need to be playing a little bit more. I'm playing a little too loose with some of these decisions around removal. I mean, really, that last game would have been a world of difference if we had just killed the Query and Beast Caller. Alright. Dude, every time I'm trying to focus, I, like, push my lips together like this one. Mm -hmm. This card is insane. See here, I can dunk both of those. I have a Choking Miasma. I have a Gibbering Barricade. I have some things that will buy us more time. I have Prayer Binding. So I need land. That's what I really need right now. Because I think I get a little too horny to play the Mossbeard Mega Gamer. I mean, it's such a good card that I'm like, oh, if I can just get to seven. And I think that that's incorrect. I think I shouldn't be trying to just get to seven. Fastest snap block in the West. So I'm going to play the Gibbering Barricade. Now I actually do have a proper defender against the Eerie Soul Tender. And we chill. We play as make you make the decision as much as possible. Shadow Prophecy. For some reason, I thought that that was sorcery speed. Nice. Eerie Soul Tender has good art. Yeah, that's pretty sick. It's pretty sweet. I'm going to remove the white-red duel and just replace it with a planes.
I just need a little bit more oomph to the early game. All right, well, everything has stopped happening in the game. <laughs> Alright, Orcish Visionary is taking some time. My god, I never thought it would come to this. Alright, that's great news. That's just great, 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 great news. I'm gonna pass through. Don't have a lot of notable things going on. If my opponent plays a huge thing, we have a pair of binding. Process Strider is fine. Very scary. But then, end of turn, I'm going to Gibbering Barricade to draw off sacking the Automatic Librarian. Or sacking the Gibbering Barricade, depending upon if there's removal being cast. Put a good old stop there to telegraph to my viewers at home. Done. Miasma on the Automatic Librarian is another option. But right now, I'm feeling kind of like I just need a lot more land. I really need to start micro-machines. I really want to start getting more oomph into this situation. Quickly, become, become cards. Is baits out Rona's Vortex on their turn. Which effectively buys me an additional turn. Ooh. Oh, hello. Come on up. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. You got it. Yeah. No way. I would have never thought it would be at the bottom anytime soon. Let's see what dips to the bin. Amazing. Eerie Soul Thunder dies. Can bring back Moss Beard Ancients. Ad infinitum. Oh, hello. Oh, my princess. Yes, please. Please, I insist. Mush yourself all over my stuff. What a very, very good cat. Hi, Sheriff. Oh my god, the cutest little baby there ever were. Aren't you just a little baby? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think this is a, it is a good day to Miasma. If we can bank a land off the top, we have a lot of tap lands. That's all right. This is Sheriff, for any of you have never met my little perfect tiny cat. Oh, hello. Hi, sweetie pie. Yeah, I'm sorry I stopped patting you. Chin scritchies. She is, like, literally one of the most gentle beings I have ever, ever seen. I like to describe this as a very kind cat. It's not that it's a sweet cat. Sweet means you're giving me affection. Kind means you care about me. Every time I'm having a really bad day, like 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 when I have started crying because I'm just having a hard time. Sheriff literally like doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh. Hi, yes. Tell me. What are your secrets? What are your secrets? Yes, tell me. There are times when I, like, cry, and this little cat comes over and just starts burrowing into me, and I'm, like, fucking sobbing into her fur. It's disgusting. Frost Fist. Uh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, sweetie pie. Oh, look at this sweetie pie. We got a little sweetie pie here. I've been herborg. Heck yeah. Just chill a little bit. Artillery Blast, Prayer Binding, Urborg Repossession looks like the ticket next turn. You can also Eerie Soul Tender to bring that one back, but I think Urborg is going to be the better choice. This is Return to our Creature card. Okay. Well, I can't really swing here. Oh my god, my little kitten. She's currently in my lap right now. Yeah, I can I can I can elevate her head to just in frame. Hello. Yeah, we'll double block this every day of the week. 100% of weekly days. think that oh I can play this all right I, I don't know how to count great see this can sack to get back the urborg on villain's side but I still think we're, we're doing mostly we're mostly owning okay come here I know I just gotta move you a little bit can I can I place you can I place you onto my here let me cross my legs this way hey sweetie pie Now this, this right here, this is a goddamn good cat. When I kiss her, she looks at me. She's never looked at me when I've kissed her. <laughs> She's very easily distractible. I mean, look at this little face. Look at this little face. Hi. I might lose this game, but I'm, like, so happy right now. I'm having, like, the best week ever. Yeah. For the light. I love this cat so much. One of my best friends. I say that without the slightest hint of irony. Just one of the greatest buddies I could ever, ever wish for. He says, I reject your frog. I've got your missile launcher right here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Get all the memes in here. I am Melania Blade of Mikola, and I reject your frog. I reject your frog. You're just going to frost fist me, man. For every recursion, there is an equal and opposite coin. All right, where, there's a tribute there. There's an Urborg repossession. This is two and sack. I think I do want a prayer binding that guy if I can. How 
how many linen rollers do you go through per month? One. Like, the full thing. Like, every day. I'm just like, time to get in a meeting and look important. Time to go live. My god, I never would have thought I, this guy would do this. Can't believe it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Amazing. I can eerie soul tender right into Mossbeard. I'm shocked that it's not more than one given. Well, I mean, like, it, once once the stream is done, I don't give a shit if I'm covered in hair. Spilling ketchup on my chin? Leave it there. Who cares? Oh, this was a huge mistake here, huh? Because the hope is then to, to get the... I'm slightly confused as to what just happened. Is this an exile now? Hmm. Okay. Ta-da! Did it really fucking use the wrong mana? It really did. It really just arbitrarily chose the worst possible mana. I don't know why it never wants to tap this stupid fucking grotto, man. Can't believe it's done this. At least the grotto is untapped. I know, it's so nice. So that way I can, like, use this uncolored mana. So ridiculous. Hey, Ed. How are you doing, Ed? Ed, I found a Korean drama, but made in America. That's not actually a Korean drama, but plays out like one. And it's called... It's called... The Magicians. Alright, I'm doing nothing. I'm waiting. Nothing's happening. Oh, Ed says I got my second booster today, so I'm approaching feeling like shit town, but I'll be better tomorrow. Man, I'm rooting for you. Magicians is so campy. Oh my god, pure, absolute, unadulterated camp! Camp's in the pants. Sweet, I get to cast it again? Fuck yeah. I don't think I have anything that shuffles this. Solved it. Haha. -ha. How many times does I cash removal on ancient? Most most of the time. We're doing it, we're gonna go to two and two. Yeah. That man says I appreciate how happy repeatedly slamming Moss Beard Ancients makes Sean. It makes me so fucking excited. I mean you have no idea. A oh, big bad bedroom all. You. You lose. Bing pong. Oh, glittering butts. So speaking of camp, have you seen the trailer for Violent Night with David Harbour? I'm excited. Dude, I am fucking excited for that. And I haven't even seen the trailer. And, okay, there's two reasons I'm excited. I like David Harbour as an actor. Stranger Things. Um, oh, my God. What's the name of the Alan Sorkin? The newsroom? 
great in that. Frankenstein's Monsters Monster Frankenstein. It was really good. Uh, but more importantly, David Harbour did a shout out to Mostly Walking, which somehow David Harbour has watched. Most unbelievable moment in my life. Hey, wow, my microphone is really picking up now. Uh, I think I see why I was really quiet before. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think David Harbour is a regular watcher. But David Harbour has watched that shit. What? Where? I don't know. Let me, let me try something. David Harbour, day and I mostly walk. There it is. Yeah, just look up David Harbour from Stranger Things. Mostly walk. That's fucking nuts. It's nuts as fuck. It's crazy. It's crazy in the coconut. It is Bizarro Town. I think I've discovered the play. No, that's not gonna do it. The guy that plays Hellboy? One of the guys that plays Hellboy. The other one is, of course. War. War never changes. War War Never Changes is, um... Wow, I'm really bad with names today. Who... It was the main character in The Mutant Chronicles and Sons of Anarchy. Who does the uh, Fallout voice. War. War Never Changes. Ron Perlman, thank you. Cat and Girl Cock Unions. <laughs> Thanks, Cat Girl Cock Unions. Finger guns. Yeah, we can grind someone out, but we... We might not live. Peyton Man thinks as I'm in shambles. You gotta not be a despiser. Be a hater at worst. Ben and Varys says, Sean, turn into your mom today. You know, that lady from the thing? Dude, fuck yeah, man. I have an ancient brain. I am losing pop culture knowledge every second. It's just spilling out of my brain and being replaced with appreciation for Mossbeard, ancient, and esoteric RTS knowledge. I was talking to someone about this recently. That like, I mean, I I just love the genre. I like real time strategy games. I don't care if it's more Warcraft three, where you have a very focused, small army. If it's squad based, like Company of Heroes. If it is a complete degenerate econ fest that is total annihilation escalation. All right, we won. Like I don't care. I just I love that whole like all of that garbage, all of that garbage. I love. And I remember I, I was watching some competitive Total Annihilation videos when my wife came home. She's like, what are you watching? And I, and I and what I said was, what I said was, we can watch something else. <laughs> oh, this is a mana worker. I thought this was the librarian. Tess. 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 Hold on. I want, I want to compare these audio levels. Test. 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 Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, the, I, there there is some real issue happening here where I see I I now I didn't I was unable to see it before, but I see it now. Um This. Is this increasing the volume? Yes, so something's happening. Something's happening. On this computer, my volume is spiking all the way to the top. And for some reason, it's getting really quiet when it enters this PC. And I don't know why. Oh, 
Oh, shit. I'm... Oh, God. Yeah, for some reason, I'm getting 100% audio on this PC, and I'm getting, like, 70% on this one. Cancel all that crap. Sound settings. Test, 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 test. So, what? What? Uh, oh my god. Ah! Test. 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 No, it's not happening. What the fuck? This is weird. This is some wild shit, man. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Nisha Brawler. All right. I think this is actually okay to play right now. So it says FZ has an audio compressor, blah, blah. Yeah, like, here's the thing. The, the problem is that for some reason, without me changing any of my settings, the audio going into, going from this computer to that computer, is fucking up for some reason. So I, I don't really know what's going on. I don't really know what's going on. So if I pull these down... Test, test, test. Yeah. Something funky's happening. Yeah, th th this is wild. Yeah, so everyone, I, I'm actually quite sorry. I had no idea that the audio was getting all wonky town. Great, two for one. Let's see if I can find. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know what's happening. I'm going to ignore it. I guess I'm just going to be a quiet baby today. So, apologies, everyone. That's just very strange. Very, very strange to me. Oh, you know I want to. really don't know what's going on here and just just to back up he, here is the thing that i am seeing here's the thing that i am seeing my audio level will basically uh be maxing out oh okay my audio level is on this computer when i talk it's hitting between 70 and 90 percent of max volume so great it's getting almost all the way to, to the max, which is great. That's that's right in the range where I want to be. And I am getting half the volume output over here. So that's wild. Yeah, that's, that's like super duper ultra strange. Super duper ultra strange. Oh well. I guess I'm just a very quiet person today, you know. Hmm. 
not... What in the hell? Oh, only activate only once each turn. Okay. What the hell? Really? That's fine, it doesn't do anything to us. Good stuff. Yeah, let me adjust my game volume. Yeah, uh, uh, Ghosty, that... Wh what you're talking about can't actually be possible. And I'm not getting those readings either. I, I see the volume levels. It's not that the game is louder and my voice is quieter. It's that all audio here is getting cut when it goes over to here. Hold on. Let me let me just go ahead and clear the chat a few times. Uh, just so you know, th there's some weirdness with the audio. And when I start trying to do audio debugging, it's really just a conversation for me and Ghost Stalker. Fire. <laughs> All right. Sick. All right, so let's do this. Should do normal casting. text my friend real fast. And I wonder if it's actually just been this way for a while and I didn't even notice. Here we go. You know, I'm just going to message them later. All right, kill Jota first. It looks like we're winning. It ring barricade. All right. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, the only downside is that you'll just need to turn up your audio devices. So let me see here. If I do like this, this should be fine, huh? Turn me up. Uh, I'm audible just fine. Oh, dude, I don't care, man. I'm just attacking. I'm just attacking. No way, Golden Argosy, who would have thought? What? Yeah. Cool. Figure it out. All right, here we go. Did we get to three and two? This is the hardest deck to get to three and two. Especially while I was doing all that audio shit that entire time. Dude, I am like so... You know, here, here's the thing that's really weird about this audio situation. Is that I have a cable that I just plug into the other computer. It's just sending audio across the cable. This is a, this is a good hand. This is a good starting hand. It's like this first, this second, and then I do this third. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, this is, we're, we're, we're all okay. Show me what I got. Oh, I'd love a Tangled Islet. So this is a total of three damage. Now, this could be buffed, and that would effectively end the turn. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. So now we're getting ready for a, a prayer binding. Because, I mean, triple green and then iconoclast. I mean, it's pretty clear the problem statement. So that's one. That's one damage. Don't hit space bar. Choose one. Those are the decks of green. Okay, now let's see if I can do this. I can't actually do this at all. Have enough different colors of mana to play both of these. That is fucking terrible news. Oh. We maybe die. Eh, 
maybe. All right, excuse me. Get out of here. Damn, they figured it out. We take those. We take those. We're going to insta snap Riku. That's all there is to it. 